This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Clifton will be the epicenter of the college football world this weekend as ESPN's college game day has arrived. The Bearcats homecoming parade is tomorrow at noon after the show. Be prepared for road closures around campus for that. You can also join in a homecoming kickoff party tonight at six on campus green. Cincinnati police say impairment may have been a factor in a deadly crash in South Fairmount. It happened around 1.30 this morning. Police say when first responders arrived, there were three people still in the car, a male driver, another male and female passenger. They all went to UC Medical Center with serious injuries. A female passenger was found dead, ejected from the car a few feet away. Police are not releasing her name pending notification of her family. A stolen car with at least two teens inside crashes and flips in University Heights. The two teens are 14 and 15 and they will be OK. A third person in the car who got away may also be a teenager. It all happened on MLK and Clifton Thursday. Cincinnati police say they tried to pull the car over for a drug investigation. That's when the car sped off. The Macy's holiday tree arrives in Fountain Square tomorrow. This is a look at last year's tree before it got spruced up. This year's 56 foot Norway spruce will be transported from northern Ohio overnight. Crews will start installing it around 7 in the morning. UC Health's ice rink on Fountain Square also opens for skating at 8 tomorrow morning. Raven. All right, so we will be slightly warmer than what we have been. We're looking at being into the low 50s, but by the weekend we will be a little bit warmer than that. But for your Friday night football forecast well, on the cool and uh, clear side, though, 40s and some 30s by the time the games do. end. now if you're waking up early, Bearcats happening all Saturday long, looking at some 30s on into the 40s and 50s for your highs. Here's a look at the rest of the forecast 60s for your Sunday and Monday and then chances rain as we head into the middle of next week.